Welcome to D1 Ticker and Collegiate Sports Connect. I'm Matt Banker, and I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Rodney Rogers, president of Bowling Green State University. Dr. Rogers, welcome. Matt, thank you. Uh, it's great to be here, and thanks for the opportunity. So we want to jump in about the athletic director search that, that is now underway and uh, making the announcement last month about a change in that chair. Can you give our audience just kind of a status update on where this search is? Well, we're uh, at the beginning of, of the search. Uh, we are, uh, we've employed a, a search firm, of course, uh, Collegiate Sports, and uh, they're working hard. They've been on campus, visited with a lot of constituencies. I think we've got it posted out there. So we are looking uh, to begin to gather the pool and want to move uh, pretty quickly here uh, during the fall term. And obviously, athletic director role is a high profile one. And so what are you hearing? You mentioned the constituencies. What are you hearing from your stakeholders, alumni, student athletes, coaches, faculty, alums? You know, uh, and, and Matt, as you would imagine, uh, to your point, athletics has uh, been an important part of the history of Bowling Green State University. Um, and, and Division One, obviously, 18 different sports uh, spread across all sorts of sports, including, you know, men's hockey, to certainly um, a list of many others, right? Uh, but but a full range, and and so uh, during this process, certainly I've spent a lot of time with uh, uh, you know talking with coaches, with the supporters uh, across campus, uh, friends of the institution, and and you know uh, what I'm hearing a lot of is is these are changing times in in um, NCAA, especially among the Division One schools. And, and so we need to make sure we have a leader who's a visionary, who's creative, who's, who's innovative uh, and, and finding perhaps different ways to do things uh, in light of uh, a changing time uh, and a transformation of Division I athletics, transformation of athletics in general. And, you know, you, you speak about the, the transformation going on and, and there's such things, obviously, as name image likeness. We were talking a little bit offline before we started about that. And, and can you share and you've got an interesting background having, you know, a degree in music as well as a, a lot of experience in, in accomplishments in the business sector, what that looks like, including for Bowling Green student athletes? Yeah, I think uh, one of those uh, aspects of this changing landscape of higher ed. Uh, you know, a couple of things I, I've learned in my career, certainly, and in, in working with some uh, high profile entrepreneurs uh, as a former business dean and, and some of the other uh, experiences I had before I got into higher ed, even. Uh, I'm always struck by when there are turbulent, changing uh, landscape, when the market is changing, that is where the greatest opportunities exist for uh, organizations and, and institutions. And so we are in changing times and therefore I think there are so many opportunities for places like Bowling Green, certainly. You know, NIL specifically, I, I think it's a perfect example of, of um, providing athletes opportunities, empowering athletes to find ways to be entrepreneurial, if you will. Uh, and so it's incumbent upon us to assist them, to make sure they understand what the rules are and that uh, we're following all of those rules, because absolutely, we always do the right thing here at Bowling Green. That is absolutely uh, critical. But we want to make sure that the students understand how they uh, can uh, take advantage of and, and leverage, if you will, the uh, NIL, uh, making sure that they're thinking about uh, kind of running their own brand. And, and in many ways, we're asking them to be entrepreneurs. And I think that is kind of one of the exciting things. It's a skill that would serve the student athlete for the rest of their life, quite honestly. So it's certainly one of the, the core competencies that, that at least I've found um, people successful in life in general tend to be entrepreneurial. They tend to try to look for opportunities and, and uh, do the right thing, but but also uh, make sure they leverage opportunities that are presented to them. And, and as many have stated, you know, the NIL experience, the real world experience, because it is a business transaction, a legal transaction, many things all in one. It's a it's very fertile uh, learning ground, so to speak. So I wanted to come back with all those things said, you know, looking for a, a new leader at, at the helm of, of the athletics program. What are the characteristics you're looking for in, in that role? 
Um, you know, the, the next leader uh, at Bowling Green, because of uh, the, the transformation and the changes that will continue to evolve uh, in the NCAA, the next leader needs to be a very much a strategic thinker. Um, looking for opportunities, looking for ways in which um, uh, opportunities that may appear to be obstacles, how do those obstacles become the way, if you will? Uh, I'm a little stoic in some some ways, but but I do think often uh, when obstacles get in your way, you've got to find ways to go around them, through them, over them, uh, but, but don't get bogged down by them. So we need a strategic thinker, a forward-looking, uh, certainly creative. Um, there again, entrepreneur. Uh, I, I keep coming back to that concept of of this. An entrepreneurial mindset uh, is absolutely key. And and just sort of moving forward, you know, as as the athletics program and the university, you know, hand in hand uh, move forward together. And and you look at what success for Bowling Green State athletics looks like. How would you describe that to someone, including those who are thinking about, you know? putting their name forward for this role? Well, I, I would say that uh, success here, um, absolutely, we want to ensure that we always uh, run uh, programs uh, that are uh, winning and being successful the right way. So we want to make sure that we don't cut corners, uh, that we are uh, are competing at the highest level, Division One, of course. Uh, but we want to make sure that uh, we are also a place where we're supporting our student athletes who are out there representing us each and every day, that we um, make sure that we have an AD that is, is coaching the coaches, if you will, developing talent, identifying great talent, and then developing that talent and supporting that talent. Uh, and that goes with you know the coaches, we expect them to, to really be developing and supporting the students. But I think the AD certainly can play an important role in that to set the example of, of a leader not just of athletic programs, but a leader across the university. You know, we're a little over 20,000 students uh, each academic year come to Bowling Green State University. And so we have students uh, certainly uh, come from all areas, but they come here to this institution to study here. And our uh, over 100 years of history in uh, collegiate athletics uh, there are so many different ways that those teams can engage all of those students. And I might note, we are uh, annually voted one of the best college towns in America. And this truly is a great college town that just loves to support uh, their university as we love to support our town. Uh, so the importance of engagement, uh, engaging not just here on campus and being a leader across campus, but engaging in the community, and the region. Uh, we are looking for someone who also wants to bring innovation and creativity to the fan experience, to the student experience. I think athletics can play a very key role in recruiting students to Bowling Green and retaining students to Bowling Green above and beyond, of course, our student athletes that are at the core of what uh, our athletic programs serve. And you touch on just kind of wrapping up here, how important it is that the university is a driver and leader in the community and what would you share just as a closing thought about what makes bowling green as a community unique if, if someone's looking at coming there to lead the athletics program you know so i've uh, my career been at different types of institutions uh, i think the, the 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 piece that i am always struck with at bowling green is is really the people in the community um I think we're the right size, uh, quite honestly. About 20,000, 2,800 faculty and staff. Um, we have a, a real presence here in the county and in Northwest Ohio where we're located, of course. But it's the community where, uh, as one student once told me, uh, what they loved about their Bowling Green experience is every day they met uh, someone new and they also saw somebody they knew. So we're this, this right level of community where uh, a person can come in, truly engage with that broader community and create some very, very special uh, relationships, networks, and really opportunities. And, and in many ways, uh, our athletics programs uh, are um, one of the front porches of our institution. And, and we've, we want to make sure that uh, certainly 
that the community knows how important uh, that is. But we also want to make sure that those um, athletic programs are a source of great pride for certainly our region and beyond. But at the core, it is about the people. It's about how we support each other. And uh, I think during COVID, uh, the university, uh, we fared pretty well. Uh, you know, we, we continued to have strong enrollments and continued to grow. And, and a lot of that has to be, has to do with what people have told me, which is they love the support, the connection, and the opportunity to come together, live, learn together. And this community, the university, the city, the county, the region, the state, the Midwest, has been very supportive of those efforts. Very good. That, that's great insight, both about the university, the athletic director position itself, but also what, what impact the university has on the community and vice versa. So thank you for sharing your insights today, Dr. Rogers. We, we really appreciate it and wish the, the Falcons the best of luck this year. All right. Thanks, Matt. And I always say at the end, go Falcons. <laughs> Thanks, doctor.